Mike, yeah. do you know how much I love black people? I love black people as much as Thomas Jefferson did, which is why I love yeah. Aunt Jemima. Yeah. Because, like, I only she had to them. ever buy one bottle of Aunt Jemima syrup, and then she just kept producing little ones. I have no idea why. Yeah. Like just mini bottles of Aunt Jemima syrup everywhere. I Thanks. sold them to my yeah. friends, but I kept a couple to, you know, go ahead and cover the pancakes whenever I needed it. Does that fall under fair use? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, God. Can you imagine? Wait, wait, wait. Why, I, Kurt, I have uh, a hypothetical is, for I'm, you. No, I'm out. I'm out. Kurt, I'm out. I have a hypothetical for you. No, trust me. This is a copyright question. If I own a black in 1861 own a black but go ahead. no 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 not now you can't own a black anymore <laughs> okay, but like now. say it's 1853 yeah. right and i own a black and then i produce another black but then someone like takes them and takes a picture of them and puts it on the internet in 1860 yeah. or 1853 is that copyright infringement because that's my intellectual property right yeah kurt he just went off camera. Where the cricket? It's <laughs> <laughs> like I can't be on this clip here. I'm just saying it's weird, right? Like the laws of ownership of property have changed so dramatically since 1853 that I feel like there would be a fair use claim today of that. Like oh, or the like uh, you know, like if you work for Apple and you make something, Apple owns your intellectual property. Like, what if your slave was a savant artist? Yeah. Like they wouldn't own it because they're not even people, but yeah, you do because you people. own the not people. Yeah. What That's kind amazing. of slave owner do you imagine yourself as, Nick? Me? An old Southern gentleman or wait, harsh... what are the other kinds of slave owners? <laughs> Eager with the whip, full... one of the one of those harsh boys chasing them through the woods. No, I'm the not I'm not side. very Look, I'm not very whip friendly. Like that's weird to me. It requires yeah. a lot of coordination, and I empathize yeah. with people's pain. So I don't know if the whip thing would work. Yeah, you want one I've, where like you walk through the fields and they go, "Oh, Massey, you having a good day today?" Dude, I feel like I would pick up the hoe and be with them. I'd be like, "Days never finished. I've got me working." Right? You're like I feel the spirituals. like spirituals. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You got a Dude, song love- in your heart. And a hundred blacks in the field. I he's like, love fuck, black hot. He goes inside the house. <laughs> he's like, fuck, this is really hot. I would be the <laughs> homiest. I would be the homiest of black slave owners. I'd be like, guys, I only bought you so other white people didn't. Because frankly, like th- this is what I would do. I'm, I'd be so detrimental to my own business. Because do you know that there's a fact, Vito, about black detrimental people? Detrimental to my own business. Mike, yeah, you don't ahead. get to comment about this. Uh, Vito, okay. you know there's I'll a fact about right black now. people. Yeah, of course, there's- I know all the facts about black people. What is a group of what is a group of black people? Is it a gaggle? A murder? No, that's not a murder. Oh, that's gross. Sorry, criminal. I get that mixed up when I look at the Chicago. uh, So when you have a criminal enterprise of black people, which is more than two, um, gathered, do you know you can disperse them immediately with two things: one, a good joke, or two, a magic trick? Well, yeah, because they're afraid of magic. No, they will. They will. They will scatter. Now they will okay. reconvene at the scene of the event, but they will scatter when you do it. Like if you watch any David Blaine video where he's in the hood talking to black people, like he does a magic trick and they they scatter immediately. <laughs> and I, I so like, away. Yeah, I would be you detrimental. You make like the sandpaper from Star Wars. They get, they scatter and they come back in greater numbers. <laughs> Ozzy, are you saying I you're going to perform magic tricks for the slaves? No, next? no, no. It also works okay. in jokes. What I'm saying oh, is, I right. would be detrimental because I'd be like, "Hey, homies, I got a joke for you about trans slaves, uh, which oh, are actually fuck. just slaves that I've castrated." <laughs> and I would just, I would drop the spicy joke, and I'd be like, "There goes 42 percent of my profits, or whatever," and they would go ah and run away. And the work wouldn't be done for about three minutes until they came back to acknowledge that a joke had been said. I would be the worst slave owner ever because I think black people are fucking hilarious. You yeah. just gave me the best idea for a, for, <laughs> for a video. I want to do David Blaine's slave magic. And it's like yes! back in olden times. And he gets all the slaves again. He's like, look at this, look at this, you know? And then their shackles disappear. But then they appear on top of the plantation roof. And they're like, ah! Get up here. And they all they all flee to neighboring non-slave states, and then David Blaine has to hire a posse in every state that they went to to bring them back. No, that's brilliant. I love that. David Blaine's slave magic. I think it's, <laughs> yeah, there's something there. 
<laughs> and, then, yeah, and then his big like I would not yeah, watch that. Yeah, his endurance stunt is just that he can't sleep until he catches all of them. Yeah. <laughs> I won't sleep until I catch every single one of the slaves. I yeah. fucking hate David Blaine's presentation. He's like, listen, I'm gonna catch all the Negroes. <laughs> We are, can't catch them all. There's so many of them. I'm gonna catch them all. There are many Negroes, but I will catch them all. I've been to Chicago. I've counted them. You'll have to rely on my count, but all of them will appear in this box and chains in approximately 32 seconds. Here, your free just whips a massive sheet off, and everybody's it. No. <laughs> A sheet. He's uh, got a sheet over the box. Is it a sheet with a pyramid on it, Aussie? <laughs> Once I remove the burning cross from in front of my fucking transparent box, all the blacks will be in there. When I take the sheet off, Jesus Christ! <laughs> you notice he's still gone. He just no <laughs> magic. I just wanted to come back and say I need to sign off for the night because it's getting pretty late for me. But I just wanted to to sign off without you know just dro dropping off completely. So I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs> Bye for now. All right, Kurt. See you later, buddy. I think I think Kurt was offended by how much racism we had there and just yeah, a short period of time. Wait, wait, who was racist? Me. I was. 